Weary traveler. Hello there, my inky, inky friends. <laughs> At the time of this recording, yesterday was the big demo Splatfest thingamajig, and I played it. I was actually really worried that I was gonna like miss it, but I just, all the stars aligned and I had a bunch of time. I actually played it quite a lot. And since that was our first real taste of Splatoon 3, I have taken the information from the experience that I got there. I've brought it here with my brain. My brain carried it over here. And we're gonna talk about my early impressions of Splatoon 3. So here we go. Um, this little demo gave us a look at the new city and um, it is a lot bigger. I'm pretty darn sure, right? Like the other cities haven't been this big and uh, it's really fun. There's just, I don't know. It's really, really nice. It's really charming. There's tons of little detail. And I just like that there's just kind of room to move around. It doesn't feel like just kind of like one little room that you go to the stores from. This actually kind of like feels like a city. I kind of, it's more believable that like people live there. And I'm really excited for the full game to like see like everything. I mean, the, the cool thing about it too is like, you know, down the road, like DLC, there's plenty of spaces around here. Just be like, I don't know, here's another store or another area where there's just kind of like a thing, you know? I don't know if they will, but it's fun to think about. And uh, the little tutorial like has you like approaching the city and you're out in the desert and like your little small fry is like ahead of you. And like that, I, I, I didn't watch the treehouse about the story. I'm trying to stay spoiler free, but like, I'm really hoping there's something like just like this. I'm in the desert, I'm moving around. My small fry's over there helping me out. I like that. I really hope there's stuff like this in the main game. Okay, let's uh, let's talk about the gameplay. I'm jumping around all over the place here. Try and stop me, I'm feeling jumpy today. Now, as you probably know, I am a Splatoon casual, I know, what a pity. So I am not super duper dialed in to like all of the little tiny changes like in the gameplay and weapon balancing and that kind of stuff, but there's plenty of stuff that stood out to me. I really like the new spawning system, you know, like the whole like spawn camping thing and and like, I don't know, like I was terrible having the ability to like jump all the way around. I'd always just jump into the wrong area and get splatted. I'm terrible at that. Like, but like now when you respawn, you just kind of like, you just kind of point and shoot. And I don't know, it's really good. It's really intuitive. Um, I love how at the beginning, you can see where everybody else is gonna head. It's a really tiny little detail and yet it's just like, yeah, like that's a thing in like team games. It's like, oh, people go different ways and different strategies. And so, I don't know, it's just a nice little thing. You can see where they're gonna go. Obviously there are lots of different weapons that are gonna be in the game, lots of different combinations and specials and things. Um, but at least here, at least in this brief experience, um, it did not feel like there was any one weapon or special or anything that just kind of dominated and that could just be my experience, you know, maybe I'm just not perceptive enough. Um, but there wasn't like that one thing that's just like, oh good, yeah, whenever they have that, I lose, you know, so that's nice. I am a little disappointed to say I, um, I don't know, I kind of thought that the, uh, the squid surge and the squidge roll, squ squidge roll, whatever it's called, um, I thought they were gonna be a bigger of a thing and like maybe they will be especially in you know the the meta you know and people who are like getting good at using them personally i never use them never like i kind of i don't know I, I think part of it is because i kind of thought there'd be like at least for like the roll like the dodge maybe there'd be like a different button or something but it's really just when you start swimming in the opposite direction and jump and i'm just not coordinated enough yet to do that, so that was not a thing. And then whenever I was swimming up a wall, it felt like it took more time to charge up than to just go up the wall. I don't know, I'm sure it'll happen. I'm just a, a little bit surprised and slightly disappointed that I just like, at no point was I using <laughs> either. And uh, same with the new weapons. I'm, You know, every single weapon type, you're gonna get plenty of people who know how to use them very well. Um, I was not immediately grabbed by the new weapons, you know, the bow, the Stinger, Stringer, or whatever. And the Splatana, I just, I don't know. I'm just not very good at them. I'm sure <laughs> they'll be good for other people. I, I mean, I'm usually, you know, I'll find a weapon or two that I like and I'll generally stick with them. That's just kind of how I am, I guess. But like, f for my experience playing the game, I mean, there isn't even really much to say. It's Splatoon, you know, like the gameplay has been so good from day one. It's, <laughs> it's always been incredibly solid. And so here, I don't know, it seems just as refined and awesome as ever. I actually won some matches. Whoa, what? Crazy, I know. No, I mean, like, I don't know, I was kind of like, 
I'm always, you know, it's my thing. You know, I, I'm just not dedicated enough to get good and then everyone else gets good and then I just don't want to play anymore. But I'd say in like the second half of this whole thing yesterday, I uh, I started to kind of get it. And I'm like, I'm, I'm feeling this little glimmer of hope that maybe I'll be able to stick around a little longer. Um, yeah, Turf Wars are fun. And we got our first, uh, first taste of tricolor Turf Wars. Um, it's really interesting. It's very, very, it's an interesting concept. I wondered how it was gonna, I guess, okay. So like the middle team, they've got four of them, but then there's just two of each of the other ones. And I kind of thought like, how is that gonna be fair? But apparently just the nature of being in the middle, you know, that team, they're just being pressed all the time. So it's just kind of like, yeah, even though they outnumber us, they, it's just a bad position. So I don't know, like at first it kind of felt like, we were beating, cause like I, I was on team paper and so team rock was in the middle. And so me and us and scissors, like the red team lost like every single time. And at first I was thinking it was too balanced against them. And it might be, it might still be a bit of a problem. Um, but then later, like it, it, just that just kind of stopped happening. I lost quite a few times. So I don't really know. I don't know if the jury's still kind of out on the balancing there or what, but uh, but it's just a fun concept. It's it's a very cool dynamic. You know, you've got other teammates that are, they're, they're not your teammates. They're technically your rivals, but like you still want to work against the middle team. And I don't know, it's just, it's cool. So let's spend a moment on presentation. You know, there'll be plenty of time for this in the in the full review, but like, wow, this game looks good. Doesn't this game look good? Splatoon has always looked really good. I don't know if there are any graphical elements that are just simply better here than in two. Um, I don't know if, you know, I'm sure they're all running on the same engine and all that stuff. It, maybe it's just in my head, but gosh, I feel like, is there is there even just like an extra little bit of polish or maybe it's just in the lighting or something? I don't know, but it looks really, really good. And like, even in just like the, uh, like winning a match or entering a match, everything just kinda, I don't know, it's been given a fresh coat of paint. It's always been good, but it's just even more exciting now how we come in on the, the little floating things and everybody has their emotes and their victory animation. And like the team that wins, the way they come in and you get to see each of their animations and it just looks really, really nice. Like, gosh, just what a stylish, cool world, you know? Okay. Here's the thing, I saved this for last because this is like, this is my main thing. And it's maybe it's a relatively small thing, I don't know, but like the lobby. You know, we're used to just, you have the city and then you go up the tower and then you're just in the battle menu. But now we have like a proper lobby that you get to run around. And I kept being like, where's the training place? How do I get to the training place? You usually get to it through the, through the gun store, right? Nah, the training area is in the lobby and when you're waiting for a match, you get to hang around the lobby and do like training stuff. And oh my gosh, what a thing. What a quality of life thing. Instead of just sitting there, like staring at numbers and waiting for your turn, waiting for a match, you get to just be roaming around and do it. I just, oh my gosh. It's so cool. And then the other people who are like gonna be on your team while you're waiting for other teammates, they're the ghosts and like they're hanging around. And at first I was like, are these fake? Cause like, I know like your friends are ghosts and like, you know, they hang out like over by the wall and I'm sure later we'll be able to like, you know, join up and all that stuff. But like, I, I didn't expect actual player ghosts. And I'm like, are these fake? Are these real? No, they're completely real. We'd like mess around and stuff. You start like, oh, I'm gonna be a squid and I'm gonna do this and spin around. And then they're doing it too. And we all like go up the stairs and up to the bar and like hang out and stuff. <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's so silly, but like, but gosh, just what an improvement to just kind of like the, you know, the moment to moment gameplay, you know, instead of staring at a screen, now you get to just hang around and have fun. And that is such a massive, massive upgrade to the way that it was. It makes it just, I don't know, it just makes it fun to just hang out and wait for a match. I love it, it's so cool. And then like, even in addition to that, this lobby menu, it's got so much information. You can see like friend activity. And one of my very favorite things, now you can see the stats of the previous match, like just like while you're there in the lobby, you don't have to just like, you know, the, the game ends and you see it and you're like, that's it. That's all I had access to. But no, you get to like, you know, go over it and look at it. And I don't know, just like this, this new system, it records so much information and it lets you access a bunch of information. Honestly, it's just starting to feel like this is catching up to the rest of the industry. <laughs> that's a, it's good, I'm, it's a good thing. 
it it feels like this game is really just catching up in terms of. I mean, you know, Splatoon has already been like, it's always been above most of Nintendo's other games because you know the people who make Splatoon uh, care. <laughs> they care about making all that stuff. Whereas a lot of other multiplayer Nintendo games, Nintendo's just like, I don't know, it's just for fun. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so like, it's already. Yeah, I don't know. It's just really good. There's, there are a lot of options, you know, I need to get the full game and really try out a lot of different stuff, but so far, it seems like a really just awesome, fully featured system, you know? So I'm happy to say, you know, before I was like reasonably eager to play the game and uh, I'm pretty darn excited now, you know? It's, it's, it's true that there isn't some big, huge, massive thing pulling me to the game. It's more just like a better, more refined version of what we had before. Um, but I really enjoyed it. I was really, really enjoying it. And I, you know, I didn't want to stop yesterday. You know, it ended and I woke up this morning and I'm just like, I want to play more Splatoon. <laughs> that was fun. So that's nice. I'm I'm even more excited now to play Splatoon 3. And I, yeah, it's gonna come out soon. Did you, uh, did you get to play you right there? You listening? Did you get to play the Splatfest? I chose paper, by the way. I guess I should cover this. I just, everyone's gonna choose rock. It's the de it's like the default. It's the most popular one. It's a rock, you know? And like out of all the things, like just traditionally, yeah, it's like the strongest one or whatever, but like everyone chooses rock. I'm gonna choose paper. You know, it's like that Bart Simpson <laughs> good old rock. Nothing beats that. So I choose paper and you can draw on paper. It's cool. I don't know. Like is everybody choosing, is everybody else choosing scissors just cause a big man? Don't choose it based on the character, okay? This is a PSA. Don't choose based on the character. That throws off the whole thing. Choose what you believe in. And if you believe in rock, you're a normie and, uh, <laughs> no, you guys won though. I just found out. Pretty bummed. Ah, uh, seemed obvious, but whatever. Team paper forever. Also team mayo. <laughs> Remember that? I will be a Team Mayo player for the rest of my days. Anyway, let me know what you thought about that. If you're excited for Splatoon 3 and all that stuff down in the comments, I think you're great. I said it. See you later. <laughs>